Hey everyone, this is MDC Technology Central, and today I'll be showing you how you can do a boot Windows XP and Windows 10. First, you're going to want to have a Windows XP boot disk ready, like a CD or a flash drive. Next, you're going to want to boot your computer from the install disk to start the Windows XP installation process. Just an important thing to note, if you have a modern system, you most definitely have a SATA hard drive controller, and depending on the install disk, Windows XP will more than likely not have native support for SATA drives. You'll want to switch the hard disk controller setting to IDE in the BIOS before starting, otherwise you'll get a blue screen of death. Use this clip if you are unsure about how to install Windows XP. Press enter, press F8, press C, press enter, then press enter again. Choose NTFS quick, then press enter. Windows will then begin installing and will automatically restart. Go through the setup screens. There are product keys in the description that you can use to bypass the install window, but will not activate Windows. When Windows setup is complete, insert your Windows 10 installation disk and restart your computer and start Windows 10 setup. Click Next, then click Repair your computer. Click Troubleshoot, then Command Prompt. Copy the commands exactly as shown. Proceed through the Windows 10 setup process. Now that Windows 10 setup is completed, let's see how the dual boot process works. Now we're done. If this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.